All right, everybody, we are moving on to 2.02, 101 problems. So programmers write commands in code to tell the computer what to do. We already know that. But one program could have millions of lines of code. So programmers do whatever they can to shorten and simplify it. Shorting the code, shorter codes are faster and easier to write, and it takes the computer less time to read the commands and perform the tasks. So let's look at different ways programmers write code. So here we have the scratch. When the flag is clicked, say hello world, stop this script. Block-based coding uses drag and drop learning environment where programmers use coding instruction blocks to construct animated stories in games. Block-based coding is a great way to learn programming basics because it is easy to read and use. The example shown is Scratch. You can see only need three blocks to write the small problem that prints hello world to the screen. Then we have text-based coding. It tends to be a little more advanced because you have to write lines of code to make the program, which can involve a lot of typing. You also must have a good understanding of basic computer concepts before you can jump in and write a program. This example is Python code that also prints hello world to the screen. Notice how it involves typing and special formatting. So both of these codes, the goal is for the screen to say hello world or to show hello world on the screen but there are completely different ways of doing that. Scratch makes it a breeze to draw and create on the screen. Check out how we communicate with the computer to create code. So we create a new Scratch project and we choose the XY grid backdrop. Go to the, add the go to XY block from the motion category and notice that the sprite is located at the X and Y position indicated on the block. Try changing X and Y position in the block to different numbers between negative 180 and positive 180. Select the block again to see the sprite move to those coordinates. These inputs are called parameters. Parameters are an extra piece of information passed to a function to customize it for a specific need. It gives the computer specific instructions for that code block. Select the add extension button. It should look just like this in the bottom left and add the pen extension. Create the code block in the image shown to draw a square. So you're gonna put pen down, set the pen color to a color, Repeat four, move 100, turn 90 degrees. And then it's gonna repeat, move 100, turn 90 degrees, move 100, turn 90 degrees. So that blue part is gonna repeat four times so that we have a square with four sides. Now change the parameters to set the pen color, repeat, move, and turn blocks to make various shapes of different sizes and colors. Can you make this with random colors? Hint, use the pick random block in the operators. If you get stuck, you can come here and look how it changes the pen color to pick random colors. Have you ever walked into a room and forgotten why you're there? It happens to us all the time. Our human brains are great, but can only remember so much information. That's why computers can be helpful. A computer can hold almost any information we give it. Computers remember bits of information by using variables. A variable is a label for a piece of information used in a program. Think of a variable as a container. The container has a name and holds information such as names, numbers, colors, text, anything you wanna store. Programming languages can use as many variables as they need. Later, we can ask the program to recall the information when we need it. So let's try in Scratch using variables. We want to see if we can make the sprite count to 10. So go to the variables category in the block palette, make, select make a variable and name it count. Build the code block using the set block and select count from the drop down. You can move the count variable to say to the say block to reference the value of count. Select the code block to see it run. Now let's see it in action. I don't know if this is gonna play. You can go to page three 
and click on this video to make sure that your code is all set up. Programming languages like Scratch are able to store variables for us when we might otherwise forget them. For instance, keeping track of a volleyball game score, later we can ask Scratch to recall them when we need them. When programmers have a set of commands they want to reuse, they call it a function. So a function is a reusable set of commands in a computer program. Some programming languages have functions that are already defined. If it is not defined, the programmer can define a function, create a function that includes the commands. When a function is defined, all that needs to be done is to call the function, which means run the function that was defined whenever it is needed. What, you needed to, what if you needed to draw 100 copies of a shape? You wouldn't wanna write the instructions over and over and over again 100 times. Functions allow you to store instructions in them that you can use repeatedly in your program. So a function block in Scratch is a custom block you can create to save a set of instructions to be reused later. You can also add custom values to the block called parameters that can be changed each time the function is called. For example, if you wanna make a block that can draw figures, you can create a function that draws a figure to be reused over and over in the program. Each time the function draws the figure, each time the function to draw the figure is called, the parameters can be changed to make the figure with a slightly different number of sides. Look at the image. With the rectangle function defined, you can create a complicated image using only those four blocks. making a function. The rectangle block doesn't exist in Scratch. You have to define it. How to define a function? Go to blocks, go to my blocks, then click make a block. Name your function. Give your function a name that describes what it does. This is gonna be easier for you to use if it kind of gives you a hint of what it does. If necessary, add options for parameters to be entered such as size and color. Now build the instructions for the function by defining it. Drag the inputs into the parameter as needed. Then use your function. You can use it as much as you want without writing the code over and over again. Try changing the parameters of the rectangle function to see how the drawing changes. Programming can be a lot of fun. Let's see what you remember. So you can go to page five and do this self-check quiz. Once you answer one of the questions, then click on the arrow to go to the next question. There are four qu review questions for you to try. <clears throat> now you're going to code. For this assignment, you're going to use Scratch to create a design of shapes using functions and variables. You're going to go to Scratch and log in. It's important you log in so you can save your work. Click on the Create button or click File New. Give your project a name, your name 2.2 or 2.02, .2, your name, and then change your sprite and the background. Step two, create two variables that will keep a count of how many of each shape are in the program. Set the variables to zero at the start of the program. Step three, create two different functions that draw shapes with size parameters. You will need to include the following. Define a function, pen up and down blocks, repeat loops, space the shapes out with move blocks, and increase the variables by one in the function. Create a code block. That starts when the green flag is selected, sets both variables to zero, draws a design of at least six shapes by calling your shape functions, use different parameters for size for each of the six shapes, and has the sprite say your name. And step five, test the program, save your file to the computer, and then go to the gradebook and attach that downloaded file for me to grade. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.